Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 7th episode of Akane Sasu Shoujo. And last episode, we went to a new fragment. This one, it was kind of like a beach paradise sort of world. And the interesting thing here is that, on the surface, this seems like the best place we've been to so far, you know? Doesn't seem to be any real conflict or horrible rules we have to obey or duels that we have to survive. Like, it just doesn't seem as... It doesn't seem like there's any real big problems. You know, we're on a beach paradise, you know? We can just order whatever we want comes to us, and just we take selfies and get likes, so you know, it's great. However, just just below the surface level, you can tell there's a lot that's just, just wrong here. I mean, it's most obvious with Chloe, because she's actually discovering subliminal messages and brainwashing and stuff like that, which is a bit concerning, because it kind of seems like the world we're in now is one where it's kind of very much a big brother kind of world where everyone's heavily monitored and kept content and controlled and you know stuff like that like just yeah try to try to keep people sated so they don't realize how the lack of freedom they truly have like that kind of world it seems like and also one thing that's definitely noticeable about this world that i didn't pick up on until between episodes was this is also the first time we have just not found our alternates in the world right you know the people that represent that they're i gotta figure out a consistent word to refer to them i'll just go with alternates you know the other asuka and you and that would normally be in this world we haven't seen them yet so that does kind of beg the question where are they you know and that could be pretty concerning if they're like in some kind of concentration camp or something like i don't know but they gotta be somewhere right like you actually made a sexy you made a comment about you know well there's something happened to the you of this world so you know just she can pay for whatever you buy it's it's all good now so but there could be a bit more to that like yeah where did you go exactly that you and everyone else i have questions about that so yeah let's see let's see if we get any answers here i imagine we would i imagine because usually these arcs are kind of like two episodes so Probably we'll finish it off here, so let's just get into it. Three, two, one, play. Watch out for that white goat. But will they get this letter? I somehow doubt it's if there is as much control going on beyond this behind the scenes that I think there is. I have to swim there directly to get the message across. Almost as if it was watching the whole time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That depends if depends if it doesn't if it says anything. We're being we're getting suspicious. Good. I knew Chloe was smart. That letter is not going to make it to them, but she already thinks that's a possibility, so. What will she do? You'll have to actually go directly. You'll actually have to hop in that boat and go yourself. But that, that's difficult. Actually taking that step and going towards them, that's the hard part. It's much easier to just send them messages from a distance, but when that doesn't work, when that's not enough, you have to step up. I definitely feel like there is some symbolism going on here with all that. Because of her whole issue of being keeping people at a distance and being alone and all that. It's pretty cool. Pretty well done. But I uh, definitely do not trust that AI, that white goat at all. Not one bit. Yeah. 
a one shot I think might be the Twilight King. King of Twilight. Back into it. There's that drone. <laughs> How could she ignore my Chikua? <laughs> uh, same canned response. <clears throat> Do you not understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? Nihongo Wakarimasuka. How about I throw a rock at you instead? She wouldn't just ignore you like this, so you gotta know as well if something's up. <laughs> I need somebody here that's not manipulated by the brainwashing to keep an eye on them. It's gotta be you, standard Asuka. What are we gonna walk in on? Uh, I, I. It's so weird to see you acting like that. But yeah, they are all just not looking too good. You don't get sucked into those gacha games. Kind of surprised she hasn't escalated her nudes yet. Because that would be the natural progression, you know. Getting more and more attention from pics online. Dot .mp. What the heck's a dot .mp? But did she send herself a message? Okay. Now this is getting interesting. Yep. We know something's up, yeah. Yeah, AI is the enemy confirmed. But how do we destroy it though? EMP? They're being brought up. A virus. There we go. That'll do it. So we have our goal. We have our means. We have our goal we got to get to. We got a lot of good stuff out of this video. So that's what happened to you. And then Asuka. So yeah, we could definitely be in trouble, in danger, if we try to, if we recklessly try to travel. Oh, wait. Wait, is that, the, is that this world's Asuka? Or did she just get brainwashed? And... This is, <laughs> this is not the Asuka I know, so. Ah, uh, that is... Okay, that's 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 weird. <laughs> well, you're a bit of a unique case. Yeah. Memory units. You mean like a like a flash drive or couldn't just give me a flash drive like a normal person? <laughs> just everyone's eyes glued to their phone. Are you sure this is not our world? Don't you mean what towel son? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! She stole their lifelines. Uh, those are those are fighting actions right there. <laughs> yeah, you are dead now, Oscar. Hope you enjoyed your life up until now. Uh, better just chuck it into the water, because they're getting those phones one way, one way or the other. Uh, you don't take a millennial's phone. <laughs> uh, oof. And there they go.
Hopefully they're not waterproof. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay. I guess Mia will have to. Just got no choice. Can't be helped. <laughs> uh, I like the new Mia more than I thought I would. <laughs> yes, sexy you knows. Oh, well, there we go. Oh, they all got tied up. Sexy you saving the day. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all she did was take spots with Mia. She didn't save her at all. And not that there's anything wrong with that. Oh. Is that Siriaska? Yeah, Siriaska always ruining the fun. I mean, I would have been okay with it becoming a three way, but. A boat! Probably will come in handy. <laughs> wow. Some real gratitude from Siriaska to you. To, to sexy you. Hey, we're not tied up very long. <laughs> now I'm starting to realize that both Askas are cute Asuka. White goat, that's clearly, that's clearly it. Let's go. I'm not giving you your phones back. So I guess they're snapped out of it, that's good. <laughs> I see. So we're all gonna converge on this island with a server. Probably would help to have a motor. Also would help to not have a hole in the boat. That would probably help more. Uh, oh no. Okay, we are screwed now. Especially if we lose that. Uh, hopefully that thing's waterproof. And also floats. Uh, so what's plan B? This is looking pretty bad. Wait, wait, what? Uh, wait, what? I'm confused. Uh, was that all a simulation? But how much was, how much was, though? But, yeah, I guess I just came over to... But seemingly, yeah, they just came over to her place. And thus... That poor drone. <laughs> Attack, does it have guns on it? So we do have a clutter here. Which, yeah, six of you, so there was not one. Apparently there was a secret one. <laughs> Of course, the server's the clutter. That, that I mean, that was kind of clear at this point. There was literally nothing else the clutter could possibly be, so... Uh, I still love Suryaska, though. You know, she's a bit of a killjoy. There we go. I mean, it would be invaluable. So, kind of take her with you. This is her arc, so you can't leave her behind. Well said. 
But I, okay, that's a little bit suspicious. <laughs> I'm sure there's more to her than meets the eye. Oh, okay. We're already transformed. Let's go. So, how is this fight gonna go? Like a bunch of little robots attacking? One big robot? Yeah, the ones that can actually transform. But yeah, that means we should be able to see her transformation this episode too, so... I expect that to look really techy. It's like a, it's like a 3D print of them too. With like laser beam, that's pretty cool. And there we go. Oh. Oh no. Familiar faces. That's not good. But it doesn't change what we gotta do, so I gotta fight it. <laughs> no matter how many times you come back, I will not marry you. But not not nice. 10 points for you if you get that reference. Oh, that looks really cool, actually. It's like a vortex. Yes. Water. Is that supposed to be water? I guess, sure. I just thought of just like hologramness. Oof. Oh no. This is. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we need to help her. Oof. Man, she just got wrecked right there. <laughs> Can you have your turn now? I think I've had enough for one day. Uh, but I don't think it's going to get too much better for her. Our, our cowboy. Our cowboy machine gun. Just. Mia. Uh, no. Yeah. This is getting pretty rough. But we got our we got our boots, so oof, oof. definitely got a boost. Yeah. If I feel like transforming yet. Yeah, you would never be able to go to different dimensions without these girls' help. Gotta go in. Very big leap of faith here. Oh, here we go. She's getting hers. I think to see what she looks like. Yeah, don't don't look don't look away. Oh. Oh, yeah, I gotta watch a blind spot. Well, that was a shot. But you know what you gotta do now? It's your turn. Only you can defeat them. <laughs> Although Siriaska will try. Finally. Man, how long did it take her to jump in there? Duplicate. Oh, a teddy bear. Okay, didn't expect that. Uh, what? I, I did not expect any of this. That's like a lot more fluffy and poofy than I was expecting. I like a lot more, but okay. Well, then go do it.
I, I guess nothing surprises me anymore. Uh, but it's like a straight up teddy bear there. <laughs> okay, let's let's watch out for those. Oof. Yeah, watch for that coming down too. It really is a controller. I thought it was like it makes way too much sense. Some things don't make sense, but that does at least. Just it's fine. We don't need a backseat gamer. And here they come again. I mean, I, I trust this girl to play a game properly. Oof. Yeah, no, thank you. Oh, pff. savage! Just off with his head. Oh, we got claws too. Guess this wasn't hard enough. I'm okay with this. <laughs> the head's just kind of floating away. And we will gladly take the alternative. Oof. Gotta get out of that, though. And do we break it? Not quite. Well, I mean, oh yeah, we have, we have to put in the virus. Okay, I forgot about that. My bad. Now, now it should be destroyed. We can always start over. And they're now dealt with. Got a little bit close there. But we did it, guys. We did it. Now we get a good look at that, and that looks even more ridiculous out of the water. It's like... I don't even know what to... How to describe this. <laughs> like, I... I really don't know what to call that. Like, it's so weird. <laughs> but the important thing is, we saved the day. Words out with it, Chloe. You want to say it was because of all of us together, the power of friendship and teamwork, and I love you all, that's what you want to say, I know. And then we got all the capture people. I don't see... Well, now I see a familiar face. There's uh, Nana and Mia. And so many generic looking characters behind them. Man, the monitor setup is so similar to mine. And now she's back. You are not alone. In whatever language that is. Well, technically, they weren't alone before. They were all trapped in that room together. But I get you. And that's the end. Seriously, I did not expect that kind of transformation sequence. Like, it was all... It had, like, a gourd thing here. It was all pink and bluffy, and you got a teddy bear and, like, tentacle arms. Like, I, like a scuba... I, I don't know. I was not expecting any of that. I mean, the Sirioska's transformation sequence is a bit more what I was expecting from, from, from Chloe. Teddy Bear's part especially surprised me. But I guess that's just who she is. She wants a little companion, a little soft, lovely companion. That lonely girl. Whew. <sighs> <sighs> Yeah, this is a pretty cool concept for a, for a fragment.
Okay, there's something left. Back at school. Now that Chloe has gone through her character development, we get to see her. Yes! What? I thought you were going to be more interacting with them. Oh, <laughs> okay, I see how it is. I'm not going to go with you, but you guys can come with me. Okay. <laughs> uh, showing that initiative. That, uh, the, the invitation coming from her for once. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that was the seventh episode of Akane Sasu Shoujo. And yeah, pretty good stuff here. I'm glad that my, yeah, my idea about the fact that it's suspicious that none of the people from this world are here. Yeah, yeah that's that's suspicious, and they really got into that in this episode. So, but I didn't like, I, I thought for sure Chloe would go to, you know, to them, but no, they came to her. So, I guess not that big of a difference, but, you know. Not how I expected it to go at all. It especially threw me for a loop when she was out in the water, dropping the thing, getting all lost in the storm, and she just takes off the headset and was like, what? But uh, I guess I guess she was just simulating that to see how it would go, I, I guess. I'm not sure exactly where the cutoff point is of where that VR session started. I guess, I guess it doesn't matter too much. But that's that was an interesting thing. So, she did pick up on that... Yeah, the, message, the messages weren't getting through at all. Every time she brought it up, the drone had a very canned response. Like, well, yeah, they, uh, they'll get there about half an hour, you know. It might be a little bit delayed based on the weather, but it'll get there, it'll get there. And pretty much any time anyone has any question that was roughly similar to uh, my messages, is it going to get there, did it get there, what's, what's the deal? Yes, messages are always sent and blah, 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 blah. So both Asuka and Chloe are picking up on that stupid response and getting a little bit concerned. As they should, because this white goat is a terrible AI thing that's keeping us oppressed, and it must be stopped. Because that turned out to be the fragment. I mean, the, uh, the, the clutter, to absolutely nobody's surprise. So, but yeah, on a less serious note, we had this scene here. We had Asuka actually take away all their phones, and then ran with it. And of course, yeah, they were going to hunt her down when she did that. And she threw them in the water. However... She, Mia was convinced that Asuka had one on her, so it was time to, uh, to, time to find it. So she had Asuka pinned down with this terrifying look in her eyes. So Asuka getting a little bit tickled, a little bit nervous there. And then Sexy Yu shows up to just save the day, and she had a great line here. I am the only one allowed to go further than that with her. And then, true to her word, after she tied them up, she, she swapped the positions with her and pretty much was saying the same stuff, so... Yeah, if it wasn't for the fact that Tsuriyasuka showed up, this could have gotten very unfamily friendly pretty pretty quick. So, just don't know why Tsuriyasuka had to stop it. I'm sure sure Sexy you would have been more than happy to allow her to join in. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Especially considering that she clearly saw her as cute by that one, one, one bit a little bit after that. Because, yeah, it's still Asuka. I mean, she's more serious, but it's still Asuka. So... If anything, we'll go with that later on. Yeah, it really wasn't fortunate that the boat had a hole in it, but it was all just a VR session, so. But yeah, we all went to White Goat Island together. So, pretty much mission, put the virus in there, and then it would defeat it. So, our only goal was to get to the slot where we could put it in. But of course, the th the thing's not just going to let that happen. So, it gave us a bit of a blast from the past and showed us previous clutters that we've defeated. But they were a bit stronger this time because if they weren't, it wouldn't have been a challenge. So, they had to boost them up a little bit. So, we got to see the old transformation characters fight a little bit. But of course, they couldn't save the day or anything. That's the job for the character whose arc we're in, which of course is Chloe. So she got her turn to transform, finally. Had to jump into that cool, watery, virtual-looking vortex. Like, seriously, they called it water, but it's clearly, like, green. I don't know. I don't know. But she transformed, and she looked like a weird stuffed animal scuba diver thing. I'm really not sure what you'd call that. But it's interesting, for sure. And yeah, the entire scene where she was having to dodge everything with playing with the game controller. The game controller at least is very in line with her character, the way she controls it. That at least is on point for sure. And seeing her dodging everything and using that cool gamer tactics to evade and strategize and 
get eventually to her target, slip it on in. That whole session was pretty cool. She even tore the head off the teddy bear. That was, it was, so, it was horrible. But it's just, he should have shut up, you know? But the, the, the most important thing about that was kind of just near the end, her saying when the when, when the white goat AI was talking about without I, I'm you can't just destroy me like what will happen like I keep things together I'm important but she's like like nah just we'll we'll work something out without you like we'll we'll build back up from here once you're gone it's it's fine and that is kind of like her life you know she she lived this whole life of solitude and all that and got used to it it became the norm but going forward she's gonna more fully embrace the, the new life her friends you know coming out more actually being the one to invite rather than ex just accepting an invite once in a while you know like no half-hearted friendship development like she's all in that, that's kind of how i would phrase it so and then we just rescued everyone who was in like a warehouse or something which of course our alternates were in there so, and this the day was saved. Then we saw, saw her at school, the new and improved to Chloe, and we get to see, yeah, how things will go from now on. So, this episode, Chloe was the obvious choice for who would be next to have her arc. And for, but from this point, I think it's especially mysterious territory, because the only ones left to get their arcs would, of course, be Asuka and you. But like I said before, both Asuka and you have a alternate that's being involved in the overarching story. Siri Asuka and Sexy You. So Yeah, what is what exactly do we do with that? Like I know I know the existence of those characters don't negate the possibility for them to have a similar arc as the others, but definitely adds an extra layer of complication to it. So I just I'm I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm not sure if that if the alternate their alternate that we're aware of will play an important role in their respective arcs or not or will that allow us to get more information on them like you especially we don't know sexy you especially we don't know much about because she wouldn't even tell Sirioska what world she's from much less her motivation and stuff like that so i imagine sexy you would be the last one and oscar would be closer and oscar's route has, has got to for sure has to bring up kyo was his name right the little brother Kyo, Kyosuke, something like that. Uh, yeah, her her arc definitely has to bring up him in some way, right? So now their their arcs would be, really be simple. So yeah, I'm, I'm really just curious how they were how they will go. That's all, that's all I'm really trying to say here. So yeah, I would guess Asuka would be next, but it's hard to say for sure. I can think of reasons why both of them would be next. So we'll just see. I'll have to wait and see. For sure. The man sexy you is serious about Asuka. Like, she never misses a beat. Never breaks character. I, I appreciate that. So, yeah. That's all we got to say. So, we'll, uh, we'll see how things go. So, bye. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.